Yellow Flash and Eric July broke the internet yesterday by announcing uh, The Mighty Golden Patriot by Yellow Flash and John Dillard. And the, what's the announcement about this is people have known about this book for a while. Uh, and uh, Ethan Van Skyver actually started his trash cast because he was he was mad at Yellow Flash for not just going along with his uh, att relentless attacks on Eric July, uh, turning his channel into an anti-conservative Anti woke create anti 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 woke creator <laughs> uh, sort of situation where he just attacked everybody around him. Ethan Van Skyver has been spiraling for a long, long time. His campaigns are getting less and less backing uh, as things go by. Uh, I've actually outsold him in books this year, which is which is crazy because my following is so much less than his. Uh, but you know, this is something that he just has to learn the hard way, I guess. His followers are dropping on on YouTube. Uh, and it's just a big, big spurg out like I've never seen before. Now, <laughs> yesterday they announced that they were going to be putting out this Ripaverse comic uh, via Ripasend. Uh, and this is, uh, and this is, uh, I'm sorry, not a Ripaverse comic, Yellow Flash comic via Ripasend. Uh, and uh, this uh, just had uh, a big, crazy shots around the world, uh, crazy stuff. And uh, you could see that there's a lot of hype beyond this uh, and everybody is going to be back in this. My prediction is it's going to beat Rainbow the Brute. Uh, and I, you know, I make my predictions early like this, but I think Yellow Flash has a huge audience. I think he's got a great concept that looks good. I think John Dillard's art looks fantastic and John Dillard's a wonderful professional. And with Rip Ascend on board, it sends a signal that there's a huge, huge audience waiting for this. And so the combo is going to be astronomical and that threatens Ethan Van Skyver. He's losing his freaking mind right now. Uh, and we're going to show you a little bit uh, on this uh, in a special video, a special video where I actually play the video rather than just talk about it. So here is uh, my graphic novel right now that's crushing it. Uh, and I appreciate you guys for supporting. This is the Hidden Emperor graphic novel. It's science fiction. It's on Kickstarter. And we're almost to the $30,000 mark. Please get us there today. Check this out. It's in the description below. Uh, and I appreciate the support. Uh, just a couple more backers will get us there. Get us over that mark. We've got Mike Barron coming on to join us for a short comic uh, for all backers once we hit that 30,000 mark. And I appreciate you guys for supporting our work. We're doing 40% better than our last campaign. It goes to show that you do not have to bow to the Ethan Van Skyver sort of thing. He can't hurt your business anymore. He's got no clout anymore, and it's fantastic. I love watching this. And I appreciate you guys that you're actual readers uh, who care about this stuff. It's very different uh, than what we see from that little... Uh, group over there now uh he lost his mind yesterday when this was announced and let's uh let's just get into this video uh about what he's got uh, uh and how how this uh this completely completely uh just melted him down when he saw this you can see the fake laughter that the i'm not mad already going on uh let's see what ethan has to say about his betrayal of me his friend who's known him forever not really like i've worked with him i don't know his name or anything about him betrayal betrayal of me it's a betrayal of everything else out there this is uh this is so sad to watch uh oh my gosh wow <laughs> he's just angry uh coincided with eric july talking about how he was going to be promoting other creators so um yeah that is a this Big is a mad. sad thing but so sad mad that eric july is involved um, with this. but the comic book is going to be funny and i'm <laughs> <laughs> I will be, I will be reviewing it here, uh, right here on. Of course he will. And like every review, it's going to say that things are bad, that things are terrible. This is a, everything that about this is awful. The art's bad. The writing's the worst. We know what Ethan Van Skyver's quote reviews are like. They're always fake. They're always just disingenuous. Anybody who's not on his team made the worst book ever. Anybody who is on his team made the best book ever. Uh, he's, uh, he's at the point where you just can't trust him about anything, which is really, really sad because he used to do some pretty good breakdowns of Marvel and DC comics back in the day. Uh, but unfortunately he's let his derangement of Eric July just color everything he's touched for the last six months. He just goes absolutely off the wall and ape shit every single time Eric July has another success. And it's really, really sad to watch. I've never seen a spiral like this in the history of anything, except for maybe a boy, Zach, who's, who's in a pretty bad spiral himself. I think you, Ethan Van Skyver's gotten to the point, uh, just seeing all the comments, people are sick of him fighting everybody, sick of him just torching everybody in the in the deals. Uh, if it, his attacks on me, his attacks on my books didn't work, uh, didn't lose any backers, didn't lose any subscribers. Uh, in fact, I gained backers from it. I, I gained this whole slew of people going, wait a minute, Ethan said this book is terrible, but it was great. 
Uh, and uh, anybody who actually backed it and read it like has had the same uh, response. And he was talking about my day is Volt. And we only get better every single time. It's really, really funny. This guy's way past his prime. Uh, he knows that he, he's uh, up against the clock and uh, and he's getting old and there's no way he's going to be doing his best work anymore. His best work was do was done when he, when he was my age. Uh, and we're still uh, going to be just cranking things out that are amazing. Now, of course, Eric July is the worst writer ever. And if you notice, then Chuck Dixon did Alpha Core. Chuck Dixon is somehow the worst writer ever. Uh, Mike Barron then did uh, Good Ying, and he wasn't even going to review it, but it was, quote, so bad that Mike Barron somehow is the worst writer ever. You notice a trend that everybody who's just like remotely friendly with Eric July and just doesn't bow to Ethan Van Skyver is suddenly the worst ever. And now he goes into this video and, uh, you know, I'm playing it. I, th I think the volume might be a little soft on this, uh, so I apologize for that, but I, I did the best I could based on this clip. Um, and uh, he, he starts saying that Yellow Flash is illiterate. That he, there's no way he's going to be able to write. Well, this is really interesting. Yellow Flash actually built his uh, brand on comic reviews as well. And he's in-depth about it. He's been a comic collector for a long time. And I've noticed something about Ethan Van Skyver because like, he he actually like messaged me months ago and said, oh, it's very clear you don't care about comics, John. And, you know, and I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? And anybody who follows this channel here knows that my comic uh, knowledge of, of the lore and, and of the writing and the process is so far beyond Ethan's. Ethan uh, literally just like, you know, copy pasted Green Lantern over and over and over again uh, and then called it a day. Uh, <laughs> and he does it pretty well. He copy pastes it very well. Uh, but again, he's not really a creator. He's just somebody who copies. Uh, and that's what happens uh, in these sort of situations. But everybody knows that I am all about the comics. I'm all about, especially the Golden and Silver Age, when things were fantastic. Uh, I really care about Steve Ditko. I really care about Carl Barks, about Valerian and Loreline. The stuff that like isn't just like the pop stuff that like everybody knows, uh, but really the deep comic lore of like the comics that are like real art, have real uh, creativity. Uh, and that's what we're all about over here. And so when he says that kind of thing, you know it's really disingenuous. And Yellow Flash is much the same. That guy has a comic collection I've never seen. We have great discussions just about like the new issue of Spider-Man that comes out uh, that he you know really pays attention to on a level that is really deep. It shows that Yellow Flash understands storytelling, especially in the comic medium. And he's going to do a great job here. Uh, he's got a wonderful editor involved with this. He's got John Dillard, who's who's got some of the best art I've seen out there. And then he's got Ripa, who's, who does a wonderful job in fulfillment publishing it. Now, what Ethan Van Skyver is going to run into and why this is going to be a problem is this is yet another creator that's finishing the book before he actually puts it up for sale. And that means he's going to be able to get it out fast. So customers are going to buy it. They're going to get it a couple months later, and they're going to be happy with their book. Now, Ethan really, really hates that beyond anything else. If you notice the people he attacks the hardest, Eric, me, uh, you know, uh, that those are the people that actually deliver comics quality and on a timely basis, because his whole narrative to people is I have to take three years to draw 48 pages in order for it to be such a high quality for you, uh, which is nonsense. He's not drawing. You could see this. He's just live streaming and shitting on everybody on the Internet all day. And that's his entire business model at this point. He's not working on things at all. And it's not like Rainbow the Brute is like some sort of like wonderful concept. It's it's just kind of dumb, Ethan. Uh, and it's okay to have kind of dumb. But uh, I, I like kind of dumb stuff sometimes. It's fun. It's it's okay. But three years doesn't really work out. You need to crank that stuff out pretty quick. Uh, that's what pulp speed is. And that's why we're going to be running circles around these guys. So this spiral right here to attacking Yellow Flash just because he teamed up with a Eric July. You can just see how mad he is. You can see him seething. You can see how he's just like, my enemies are going to make more money than me and I can't even stand it. It's just abject narcissism. And the real problem here is, uh, you know, I told him this morning too. I said, Ethan, you're not my enemy, but you've worked so hard over the last several months to be doing so. And it's really, really sad to watch. You need to get back on track. You're losing subs. Uh, you're losing your backer base. You've less, left, lost your comic audience. All for like these people who send super chats. I've never seen somebody like work harder at not working, just getting your comic books out uh, to make things a little happier for everybody in the whole certain scene surrounding you. Because when you don't do things and you don't get things out on time, it actually hurts other indie creators way more than, you know, when you try to slap them down or whatever. Nobody cares about that anymore. But what hurts them is the fact that you're not getting it out and that money's invested into your books. 
people think twice about investing into crowd funds and that's the harm that you're doing to everybody in these circles. You've really got a giant weight on everybody's shoulders at this point and it's not helping anybody, especially yourself. Now, gosh, I would love for us all to stand as one conservative movement, one group who's out there to fight the culture war, to really take on Marvel and DC and to do this. That's the entire goal here. That's what we want out of our uh, comic book movement, our comic book uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, renaissance here. And uh, I, I pray that that can happen someday. Ethan, just knock it off. This is no good. Attacking me, attacking Eric July, attacking Yellow Flash relentlessly is just hurting you is what's going on. This is an intervention. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Crazy, crazy going at Yellow Flash. Hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure to hit the Hidden Emperor right here on, uh, whoops, that's the wrong button. Uh, grab the Hidden Emperor right here on Kickstarter. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you guys for supporting our work and getting us uh, to this $30,000 goal. Hopefully, we'll be able to do a stream on this tomorrow and, and talk about the Mike Barron comic. I appreciate you for being there. You're great customers. You're great people. We'll be back soon.